This couple is idle every day without any desire to work, but they manage to live a luxurious life. They go in and out of luxury shopping malls every day, driving in luxury cars, but no one knows where their money comes from. Alice and John are a loving couple. Their life is not as happy as it could be. Alice was the object of everyone's affection during her studies, but her marriage to John and the realities of society made her realize that it wasn't going to be easy. Alice had always imagined a promising future. However, the balance on her bank card made her realize that good can't be just a fantasy. Overambitiousness has become Alice's synonym because she hadn't been able to break away from the kind of environment where everyone was interested in her. This led her to feel dissatisfied with all work. John could only encourage her with words out of love for his wife. He couldn't really help her. One day Alice and John were going out shopping. They almost had a car accident on the way. It was this accident that changed their lives. While John was arguing with someone else, Alice saw a mysterious old woman wearing a red shawl not far away. She was holding a yellow teapot in front of her house. Alice thought that the teapot was found by the old woman, and this yellow teapot looked like a solid gold. It was probably worth a lot of money. Alice then broke into the old woman's house. Alice saw the teapot in the old woman's house. The teapot seemed to exude a different magic on the table. It kept seducing Alice. So Alice took the teapot home directly, and she put the teapot next to her pillow. What Alice didn't know was what kind of bad luck the teapot would bring to her. Alice accidentally burned her forehead when she was perming her hair one day. Just then the yellow teapot on the table moved. Alice looked at the teapot and suddenly there was $200 inside. This is a freshly baked bill. Then she used the curling iron to burn herself again. A few more bills came out of the teapot. She kicks the table and screams in pain. So more money comes out of the teapot. If she punched the door with her feast, money would fly out of the teapot. That's right. Now she has more money to spend, but John was fired from the company. He returns home in a state of disarray. When he opened the door, he found the house in a mess and stuff all over the floor. His first thought was that there was a burglar in the house. He rushed to find his wife. Alice was lying in bed with blood all over her head. This scared John, but Alice did not care and laughed out loud. Next she began to show John the magic of the teapot, which she slapped John hard and kicked him in the lower half of his body. Down scenes of bills instantly flew out of the teapot, and so the screaming in their house continued into the night. Whenever they hurt themselves or hurt others, this teapot will spew out money. Depending on the level of pain, the teapot would spew out a different number of bills. But John knew that it was a game without a pain. They can't have a good result if they go on like this, because it would only indulge Alice's desires. The next morning John was ready to return the teapot to the old woman's house. But as he stood at the door, the teapot seemed to emit an amazing magic. John was influenced by the magic, and at this stage, he lost his job and lost his source of living money. In the end, John was defeated by reality. John took the teapot back with him. The two of them began to try to hurt themselves at home to make money, such as body hair removal, tattooing their backs. Alice could scream more than 10 times a day. Slowly they both start to be blinded by money, but the teapot's secret is not just known to them. They were attacked in their home. The robbers were after the teapot, but how could Alice give up the teapot? It's a treasure that can generate money. Their attackers eventually took the money and left. At this point, the couple finally understood that the teapot was not simple. So they began to search for information about the teapot. Alice saw a page of information and immediately tore it up. No one knew what was written on it. The magic of the teapot allowed them to live a life of luxury. They only saw the magic brought by the teapot, but they did not see the teapot's bad luck. One day they were having a party at home. A mysterious doctor came to the house to warn the couple of the teapot's danger. But by this time, the two of them had been completely seduced by money and angrily told the doctor to get lost. Of course, they also put the doctor's wooing behind them. But then the teapot's bad luck begins. The others discover the teapot's secret and rob the brass teapot. But the teapot was still intact after the car crushed it. This made them feel incredible. The information about the teapot was too limited. They remembered the doctor who warned them before and went to doctor. Lane, Dr. Lin's advice was, this teapot will lead you to disaster. Many people have lost their families and even their lives because of this teapot. So you need to stay away from the teapot. How is this possible? Alice and John both think that this teapot is just a treasure that can generate money. It is good luck and good fortune. They felt that what Dr. Lin said was really alarming. Once again, money and profit blinded their eyes to reality. The teapot was soon followed by another attack of bad luck. The attackers came to Alice and John's house again, but this time they only attacked to take the money from the teapot. He even kept warning them to stay away from the teapot. The money is gone. The two of them have to start using the teapot again to make money. 
Their bodies are now bruised and battered. The production rate of the money was not keeping up with the speed of their spending. But Alice found that if someone was hurt near the teapot, they could also get a lot of money. With more and more money, Alice became more and more greedy and selfish. Alice even had the idea of hurting others. As she drove the car, she said that since she touched the teapot, everything had gone very well. So she never wanted to lose this happy feeling in her life. After all, the world is so bad. She stepped on the gas pedal in spite of John's shouting. John, who was still being rational, quickly stopped Alice's madness, although it stopped her from killing. But then they found out that sadness can also produce money, and so they started another round of money production. Dr. Ling was watching them silently from a distance, but there is a limit to the amount of sadness one can have. So they started to work as paparazzo to investigate other people's sadness again. Everyone was hurt by them. The two of them became notorious. Alice was obsessed with making a million dollars before she tried to hit someone with her car but failed. So she started to focus on human traffickers and drug dealers again. Alice felt that if she did that, she was helping society rather than committing a crime. Greed has completely eroded Alice's humanity. She wanted to trade human lives for money. But John still had a shred of humanity and rationality at this point. He loves his wife very much. He didn't want to see Alice's humanity die and go to the realm of destruction. So he gave his life to Alice as a test subject. Yes, he did. It was love that awakened Alice. They finally regained their sanity. The teapot that was on the table was stolen by someone else. Alice and John found the teapot. However, they witnessed the teapot's doom in someone else's house. That is death. Under the threat of death, they finally gave the teapot to Dr. Lane. Dr. Lane eventually disposed of the teapot and let it disappear into the crowd. Alice and John returned to their normal lives after this unusual money journey. Money may have become a necessity in today's life, but money is not everything. People should not be fooled by money. Otherwise, people will fall into greed. Just like Alice's step-by-step -step journey to the abyss, hurting herself does not satisfy her greed. Hurting her husband doesn't satisfy her greed either. She even cued others for her own greed. Alice from the beginning of the curiosity into the mind of the devil only thinking about money. So it is said that people who do not work to gain may eventually bring harm. This is also the truth of this film called The Brass Teapot, an absurd comedy that conceals the balance between human nature and profit. You can subscribe to Save Review and leave comments if you have any ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time.